And this one is called Een Voltini. And it starts with eggplant. So there's my eggplant. And in this pot right here, I've got cooking some prosciutto and onion in a little bit of olive oil. About a quarter of a pound of prosciutto and one onion. And this is prosciutto, prosciutto di Parma. But before I cut that eggplant, I'm going to have to put the pasta in. And today, we're working with something called capelli di angeli, or angel hair pasta. You probably know it as little bird's nest because that's what it looks like. And it's very fine pasta. So it's not going to take a long time to cook. So again, in a pot of boiling water, at least four to six quarts, you want to add at least one tablespoon of salt for every four quarts of water. And now, I simply put these in. In addition, we have the eggplant. And now when you buy eggplants, you want to look for something that's really nice and shiny that doesn't have any digs or brown spots on it. And for this dish, you have to cook the eggplant by baking it in the oven. So you want large slices, you see, just like that. And I have some in the oven already. All I did was brush a baking sheet with a little bit of olive oil. And I got eggplant slices that look, ooh, that's a little bit hot, just like that. You see, they're nice and bendable. And I didn't have to use a lot of oil to cook the eggplant. So now, I can finish up the rest of my filling. So, once this is cooked, I want to take this and put it into a bowl. So there's my prosciutto and onions all cooked down. Doesn't that look great? And then with that, I want to have a few other things as well, including some sun-dried tomatoes. They go in. And those are just tomatoes that we've dried, you see, taking the moisture out. You can buy these in the grocery store. And I also want some black oil cured olives. They go in. And also with this, I'm using a pecorino cheese with peppercorn. So this is going to be a little bit spicy. But if you didn't have pecorino cheese, well, you could use anything. You could use a mozzarella cheese, which is a cow's milk cheese. This is a sheep's milk cheese. Or you could use Swiss cheese, whatever kind of cheese you have. And that's part of our filling with the pasta. So now let me go back and check and see how we're doing over here. And let me give this a stir because as I say, this is a pasta that doesn't take too long to cook. We don't want it to be soupy soggy because we have to bake this in the oven. So now I think we can take that out. So let me turn this off. And again, we want to drain most of the water off of the pasta. You can wash the stove while you're at it as well. Get it all out, leaving just a little bit of water on there. And now it goes right in there. We're going to mix that. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. So mix that around. And if you want to give this a little bit of salt and pepper you can, but I think it's spicy enough just the way it is. Then you take one of those eggplant slices, you see, just like that, and take some of this mixture. You want to make sure that you have a little bit of everything and put it right down the center. Getting a little sloppy here and I'm going to have to use my hands now. And just pat it down onto the piece of eggplant and then roll it up. This is the involtini part, you see? Just like that. Then in a baked dish, you take them and put them side by side. Your oven's on at 350 degrees. You cover this with foil and you bake these for about 20 minutes. 